Good morning folks, welcome back to Mini Performance Home Workshop Beautiful day in Cumbria again Brew on the go Thistle run as well if you can see that Really good event if you ever need uh, an excuse for a trip to Scotland But as with most things it's been cancelled this year because of coronavirus uh, Today I'm working on the turbo engine for long term subscribers it's one of those engines that I've had knocking about for a while um, it was the innards of it was the basis for one of the uh, motors in Bumblebee and then I got a new crank and block for it and then started to rebuild all the bits into it that I didn't need so it's been sitting over there in the corner for a long time uh, yesterday I did some work on it, got all the timing gear done I did have an issue with the cam gear that goes on the crank whether that's proper terminology for it is, I can't remember um, when yeah, I was putting the straight edge across between the two um, gears, the cam gears I couldn't get it level even though I removed all the shims on the, on the crank gear so what I had to do was I had to rub it on a bit of sandpaper on a piece of glass and basically take a tiny tiny amount off the bottom edge of it so I could get the two teeth, the two gears to line up properly so it wouldn't wear the chain. So that's done, uh, the timing cover's all on, I've put a temporary uh, balance or an, you know pulley on just, for, just at the moment because obviously with it being a fancy motor that runs full um, ignition control it would need a proper trigger wheel but it's just got air pulley on for now to centralise the timing cover um, and the oil seal within that so today's job is to put the uh, pistons and rods in what I've got pardon me in front of me are the rods here and the pistons I've taken off the old piston rings and today's job is to put the fresh ones on check the gap in the bars and just work through it um, these if it will focus on that these are the uh, rings that I got from MED ring set uh, plus 20 for its 12.93 and they come in a nice uh, bag there each separated so you know which ones are which and there's no chance of you getting them mixed up um, there is certain ways that rings are supposed to sit if they've got a bevel on one edge of them um, I can't remember off the top of my head which way it should be and all that sort of stuff so I've laid out the old ones in the correct orientation so I can compare the two just to uh, get it right in my head but it just depends if the new rings do have a bevel on one edge as to whether that sits upwards or down down the way or whatever so today's job as I said is basically just to uh, check that uh, piston ring gap get that in then I can clean the head face off a little bit because it's got a tiny tiny little bit of rust where it's been sitting for a long time I've got the head gasket head's been painted find all the studs that are in a box somewhere and uh, start reassemble <laughs> piston ring in the bar like so and then you just use the piston push it down a little bit and that way you get it nice and flush in the bar and uh, check the gap down that edge between the two halves of the piston ring and see what it is that first ring was alright so we're going to check the second one down now I don't know if this is going to focus on this but the second ring down has top 
marked on it there so you know which way around it goes which is obviously ugh, that way so we'll just repeat the procedure again push it into the bar it, push it into the bar try not to catch our fingers on it level it up with the piston so it's nice and even like so and then measure the gap again and then adjust it if necessary the last one didn't need adjusting which is a bit of a surprise but hey ho okay so the gaps are set so the next job is to lower the piston in using the proper piston ring compressing tool this is the 15 one the MED ones are just the same Yeah, that's tight if you're not too sure just pull it back out and make sure it's going in properly so it should drop down easily into the tool and as it drops down it pushes the rings in What I'll do is I'll just move the crank out of the way. It's fully out of the way. So that's lined up in there. And it should just push down. If it looks as though it's sticking, it means the piston ring hasn't uh, popped in place. So just pull it out and do it again rather than break the ring. I missed filming that, but uh, I had that on and I was tapping it in and then boop, disappeared down in. So that's that one in. You can uh, you just see it there. So I'll do the um, ring gaps on each of these and just uh, work through the rest of them.